Hi, this is Bruce Johnson with ATG. I'm going to be doing a quick video on Oh No, Not Filters. And basically what we're looking at is a, a lighting plan. This could be any type of a plan, but currently this is a lighting plan. It's got a view template with everything locked way down where all of my uh, coordinating objects are gray and dashed and whatnot. I'm actually going to make a copy of that, so I'm not going to change anything serious, but I'm going to make a new filter real quick. So, new view. Remove my view template so I can actually do whatever I want. And once that's done, I can go visibility graphics on my keyboard, go to filters, take a not filter that's already there, uh, which is controlling my, my current view, and tell it that I want to edit. So actually before I do that, we'll just go back to the view and see that we don't have any filters on anymore, controlling those light gray dashed lines. We actually do see things like VAVs, uh, above my light fixture there, some slot diffusers, some air terminals. So those are the objects I want to actually get rid of in my view. So generating a filter that works for all that is kind of my, my main goal here. So back to visibility graphics filters, and I need to create a new filter. I'm going to hit the new button. I'm going to do underscore BAJ, my initials. And that's just going to serve as a kind of a placeholder. Throws it to the top of the list. If I need to make 10 different edits, it's easy for me to go find. And then when I actually figure out exactly what I want to do, uh, I might come back and rename it. So as far as my filter list goes, I could have all categories turned on here and see everything. Uh, but I don't want to actually get rid of my architecture or structure. So I'm going to remove those from my filter list. And then I'm going to say check all. And the thing I want to keep is my lighting devices and lighting fixtures. Because I do have some box sensors and things in there. And once I've chosen my naming convention, the things that it applies to or it doesn't apply to at this point. Uh, I'm going to say on my rules, the only thing I have left here is work set because I have so many things uh, filtering at one time. So it is not equal to uh, E lighting. So E lighting is the thing that I'm filtering, but it is not equal to E lighting. So if I say OK, I can do an add and add my filter. And usually when I do a filter, I'm going to do a color check. Just going to do something uh, bizarre, something that's very easy to see. So if I change everything to purple and do an override of say seven, it's going to be nice and dark, right? Easy to see. So when I apply my filter, everything that is not lighting should light up like a Christmas tree and turn purple. So that's just my filter test. And then when I'm done with my filter test, usually I'll come back, go to my filters, and do my invisibility turned off in that case. So those things now, instead of being colored, are just gone from my view. So that would be my indication that my not filter is working. Anything that's not lighting or a lighting device is now not visible in the view. So that would be a not filter, right? So last thing to do, go back to my filters, go back to my uh, convention here, and actually name it something. Maybe I do a E underscore not uh, not lighting or something like that. If I want to make it a not filter with uh, parentheses like I did for the naming convention of my slide, uh, I could do that as well. As soon as I say OK to that, it filters itself down in my list uh, wherever it needs to go. Because it's parentheses, it's still up at the top. And it automatically changes my naming convention of my filter that I've already applied to the view. So that is my quick and dirty version of a, a not filter getting rid of everything MEP in my model that is not uh, not lighting in this case. And that does work through Revit links as well. So if you have multiple users in multiple files, uh, it's still looking just at the filter of the object. Uh, not only that, if there was a symbol embedded, so if there was a, say, a generator and it was just a big circle with a G or something like that in the mechanical model, uh, or a, a different model or something like that, it, it would basically let me uh, take the symbol as well with a filter instead of having to do it through the annotation categories. So all fun stuff there. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and have an option now to, to use a not filter in production. Thank you.